Matthew 24, verse 29. The coming of the Son of Man. Immediately after the tribulation of those days, the sun will be darkened, and the moon will not give its light. The stars will fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens will be shaken. Then the sign of the Son of Man will appear in heaven, and then all the tribes of the earth will mourn. And they will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he will send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they will gather together as he left from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. Verse 32, the parable of the fig tree. Now learn this parable from the fig tree. When its branch has already become tender and puts, it, and puts forth leaves, you know that summer is near. So you also, when you see all these things, know that it is near at the doors. Surely I say to you, this generation will by no means pass away until all these things take place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will by no means pass away. Verse 36, no one knows the day or hour. But of that day and hour, no one knows, not even the angels of heaven. But my Father only, but as the days of Noah were, so also will the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day that Noah entered the ark and did not know until the flood came and took them all away, so also will the coming of the Son, Son of Man be. And two men will be in the field, one will be taken and the other left. Two women will be grinding at the mill, one will be taken and the other left. Watch therefore, for you do not know what hour your Lord is coming, but know this, that if the master of the house had known what hour the thief would come, he would have watched and not allowed his house to be broken into. Therefore you also be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. Verse 45, the faithful servant and the evil servant. Who then is a faithful and wise servant, whom his master made ruler over his household, to give them food in due season? Blessed is that servant whom his master, when he comes, will find so doing. Surely, I say to you, that he will make him ruler over all his goods. But if that evil servant says in his heart, My master is delaying his coming, and begins to beat his fellow servants, and to eat and drink with the drunkards, the master of that servant will come on a day when he is not looking for him, and then at an hour that he is not aware of. And we'll cut him in two and appoint him his portion with the hypocrites. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. 